somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the Appleton Oak. This is the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, we're going to keep it going tonight with 2013's The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Again, none of us have seen this. Uh, I really enjoyed the first one as kind of twisted as it was in some ways, <laughs> yeah. but really enjoyed the story. Loved all the actors. So uh, the cliffhanger that Donald Sutherland had at the end was fantastic, and I cannot wait to dive into this one. As again, once again, we're being babied by being able to watch it like right in a row. So we clearly remember what happened. I mean, we didn't get a chance to like rewatch it a couple times, but very interesting story. Very interesting how it played out. And now we're going to introduce more than likely new characters. We have the two heroes, the two victors, as you will, coming back. And where does it go from there? Okay. We don't know, but we're about to find out. Yeah, the, the first movie has been living completely rent-free in my head since watching it. <laughs> and, you know, I there, there were certain scenes where I had, like, these reactions, like, oh, wow. But I'm, I got to be honest, like, this is one of, like, the plot of the movie. And I know some people had made comments uh, on, on Patreon about my reaction. It's honestly one of the most messed up movies I've ever seen. And, like, not to be, like, overly dramatic, but it's pretty, it's gross. Like, not, like, gross, like, the violence or gross, like people dying like the concept of it is gross like 12 to 18 year old kids killing themselves for wealthy people's like pleasure and i don't know if it's because i have i, I have a, a a kid now or i i just i don't know like i like i like the more i think about this movie i feel like i need a shower mm. like i can't be the only one who watched this movie and was like this is like and i get like it's building up to stuff mm -hmm. but it was like what they're doing 74th annual like these, these people sit there and watch like kids kill each other it's just like, like i get it's going elsewhere i don't yeah. think it's like a bad movie i just <laughs> yeah. feel i felt so like i just feel dirty after watching mm -hmm. that first movie i'm excited yeah. to see where it goes of course a big cliffhanger um i'm gonna try to enjoy this one as much as i can you know enjoy yeah. it given the gravity of how heavy this plot is but um Let's get into it, boys. Right. I mean, you better be ready, willing, and able to watch <laughs> Catching Fire. <laughs> so without dang. further ado, let's go! Okay, so one thing that we know is it's not like your typical, like, post-apocalyptic where nature's ruined and stuff. Yeah, it's more there of a, is a lot of technology still being used. It's more of a government, like post-war type thing and not necessarily post-apocalyptic oh hey there she oh, is there's that? our girl katniss like is that a, a burberry sweater i was gonna say on? like does she have nice oh hey it's that <laughs> guy liam hey. <laughs> or, i'm sorry I, his name saw some turkeys on the way here crossed right in front of me like i wasn't even there how rude of them <laughs> <laughs> oh do you think they have to meet nice in tour. private oh, oh the that's... tour yeah they gotta go on this big post yeah. show tour winning so she's leaving for the tour in a couple hours and still out hunting and providing. There are promised riches, though, right? So I'm yeah, just... that's the thing that I yeah I'm confused about. If they make these turkeys easy to take down, I'm gonna be upset because turkeys are incredibly difficult to take. <laughs> Listen to this guy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, she takes out squirrels between the eye. That's so. cruel. Oh, she's having total flashbacks. That makes sense. Glad they addressed that. It's okay. You're here with me. Oh, no. Okay. Total, total PTSD. PTSD. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they got to hide everything. Oh, they're still hiding their stuff yet? Are you coming to the train station? I think you have enough people saying goodbye without me there. Only a few I actually care about. It might be easier if I didn't. I'll be back before the snow melts. Yeah, a lot can happen in a few weeks. Gail, it was an act. I oh. did what I had to do to survive. If I didn't, I'd be dead. Yeah, I always saw that coming. Yep. Oh, don't let anybody get pictured. Well, actually, it'd probably create a juicier story. Yeah. Oh, star-crossed lovers. You almost wonder uh, if he doesn't get involved somehow in the actual games. You know, he can't possibly just sit on the sidelines like this. He seems time. like they've uh, they've interjected him quite a bit for being a side character. Yeah. Wake up, it's tour day. Hey, Mitch. Uh oh, no, no, no. Duh, no is she going to dump no, it on him? No, <laughs> God, my, my. Oh, yeah. God, my Cameras are going to be here in an hour. I trust you to wake me without giving me the moan. You like some bread, Katniss? No, I ate at the hall, but thank you. Oh, this is awkward. Seems very yeah. weird. Take a bath, Mitch. I just did. 
<laughs> a booze bath. <laughs> Also, the, the, so they do kind of have some rich. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, they got electricity and everything. Miss Everdeen, this way, please. Who the hell? They oh. saw her That's playing the kissy face with uh, Hemsworth. <laughs> oh, oh, oh wow. The president. The president. Wow. Mr. Snow himself. Such spirit, contempt. Sit down, please. I have a problem, Miss Everdeen. A problem that began the moment you revealed those poison berries in the arena. People viewed your little trick with the berries as an act of defiance, not as an act of love. Oh, and if a girl from oh, District 12 of that. all places can defy the capital and walk away unharmed, what is to prevent them from doing the same? What is to prevent, say, an uprising? And then in a fraction of time, the whole system collapses. It must be a fragile system if it can be brought down by just a few berries. <laughs> this town of yours reduced to ashes imagine it gone made radioactive buried under dirt as if it had never existed like district 13 oh Wait, what, what? Oh, district 13 done it before did your mother make these Peter. oh he's a lovely boy at what point did he realize the depth of your indifference towards him why don't you just kill me now i don't want to kill you I want us to be friends. When you and Peter are on tour, you need to be grateful. You need to be madly prepared to end it all in love. You think you can manage that? I'll convince them. No, convince me. Do convince me for the sake of your loved ones. You guys called it. Cameras everywhere. Even though it doesn't look like it. For the sake of your loved ones. So yep. So he threatens oh, her family. Back. Yep. That Elizabeth Banks. Oh, what a cute little house. So quaint, isn't it? Everyone in the capital is wearing him. Everyone, everyone. Well, not everyone. Oh. Hey. <laughs> is that Lenny Kravitz? Uh, yes. I don't know. I only see him you with know, glasses on. You know, I knew it was on. Lenny Kravitz from the get-go. I'm just so used to seeing him with scarves and glasses. Yep. And just being a rock star. He does kind of have a scarf thing. Welcome. So cool. yeah. Ah, look who's back. <laughs> Two brave young people, against all odds, chose to die. Well, it's today. time. You're excited. You're in love. Big smiles for the camera. There she is, Captain Seventeen, the girl on fire. Oh, that's, that's cool. Nice camera setup. You're not smiling. <laughs> hey! Uh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> I hope they're all right. Oh, Ooh, come on. Man. How's it going? We're good. That's it? That's all we get? <laughs> Can you maybe? Yeah. <laughs> We're good. Yeah, things are, uh, things are great here in 12. Thank you so much, Captain 17 and Peter Lamar. Almost thought that kiss was real. Come along, children. We are on a mm. schedule. The train awaits. That was it's quite kind of, it's the kind line of he delivered there. It's like towing the line of like their actual acting. like As actors. actors. Yeah, it's kind of cool. All you need to do is give a few speeches, wave to the crowds, and enjoy your time in the spotlight. You've earned it. What did you say? I said, enjoy it, Katniss. You've earned it by killing people. Yeah. Too. I'm really not in the mood for a lecture. I'll apologize to Effie later. You don't have to apologize to anybody. You saved us. I know that. When I can't go on acting for the cameras and then just ignoring each other in real life. So if you can stop looking at me like I'm wounded, and I can quit acting like it. I've never been very good at friends. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. I hardly know anything about you except that you're stubborn and good with a bow. It's like I said, I'm... See, Katniss, the way the whole friend thing works is you have to tell each other the, the deep stuff. The deep stuff? Yeah. What's your favorite color? When I've stepped over the line. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an HR interview. <laughs> Oh, is there some uh, Did you see that? rebels we got here? What? What am I thinking? Of course there's a rebellion. There's always a rebellion. What are they looking at? There's that spray-painted oh, symbol inside oh. 13. What was that? The victors of the 74th Hunger Games. We are honored to be here with you today and to be with the families of your fallen tributes. Why do I bother? With honor and dignity, both Thresh and Rue were so young, but our lives aren't just measured in years. They're measured in the lives of people we touch around us. We know that without Rue and without Thresh,
we wouldn't be standing here today. We'd like to donate one month of our winnings to the families of the tributes every year for the rest of our lives. Can you, can you do that? I can't. Oh, I just need to stick to the cards. Um, didn't really run that by her. No, <laughs> didn't get the approval. She, yeah, she's got to say some ball rule. I yeah. Mean, come on. I didn't know Thresh. I only spoke to him once. I did know Rue. She wasn't just my ally, she was my friend. In the flowers that grow in the meadow by my house, I hear her in a Mockingjay song. She was too young, and I couldn't save her. I'm sorry. Oh, she just keeps winning over the people. Yeah, they're, they're, what's, what's these guys' problem? It's the same symbol as she did, though. What? What is going on? I am. What's wrong with this? Guys, do we miss something? Of, it's a sign of unity, I think. What are you talking about? Who has to know what? Snow, he came to see me. He's worried about rebellion in the district. He thinks that they don't believe our love story. So he wants you to make them believe it. You should have told me that before I went out there and tried to give these people the money. I'm sorry, I didn't know what to do. He threatened to kill my family. Well, I have family too. Who protects them? Please just help me get through this trip. This trip, girl, wake up. This trip doesn't end when you get back home. You two are mentors now. It's every year your private life becomes theirs. Oh. You're going to read the cards that Effie gives you, and you're going to live happily ever after. Not like no wonder he matches the way he is. Wow. He, he has to do this, this the rest so of his life. Heavy. And wow, they just not waste any time just wow. getting into the heavy shit here. For it is love and true love that allows us all to bear our hardships. Okay, so she won over the first crowd and everybody else hates him. Yeah. yeah. Well, because now they're just reading off the, the cards. Oh. Just... They just did the salute. Yeah. yeah. The tributes of this district for great and noble warriors. <laughs> She's like reading like right off the cards. Jeez. It was just a dream, I'm sorry. I got him too. Will you stay with me? Here we go again. Well, she stayed with him when he asked for it in the cave, so yeah. I mean This is true. But also she knows that he's the only one that's going through the same thing she is. Yep. Tell him what you really did. Yeah, see, they know today, that's not really her. Penem tomorrow, Penem forever. And I, all I thought was like, maybe as they got wow, each district higher that, it, yeah, see, I don't think it matters. The, the people want her to tell the truth. If he wants you to pacify the districts, I promise you, he's not happy. You two sound like you're reciting from a drilling manual. We try reading that stuff that Effie writes us. Tell that to President Snow when you see him two days from now. I could get married. That's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> if, like you said, we're on this train forever, it's going to happen eventually. It does make a statement. I'll give you that. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. <laughs> Sounds real excited there. Our two lethal lovers have surprised us with a Those new lies. twist in their love affair. <laughs> Look at him watching <laughs> He's, He's got the little the Bob, the Bob Barker microphone. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's got to make uh, Sir Liam happy. Everybody who's anybody is here, and they all want to meet you. Fine. Oh, I can't eat another thing. What's this? It's for when you're full. It makes you sick. You can go on eating. How else could you taste everything? I think it's time for a dance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Man. You go ahead. You have it. Hey! Head game maker. Sanford, oh. Sanford Lyle. <laughs> it's the new game maker. Yeah. Yep. The replacement. May I? Please. Being head game maker has never been the most secure job in the world. And why are you here? Same reason as you. I volunteered. Ambition. The chance to make the games mean something. You want me to scare us? Maybe it was you who inspired me to come back. Come back? I'm sure we'll meet again. Okay, so definitely getting a vibe from him. Like, he's not all rah-rah capital, is he? Yeah. God, Donald oh, Sutherland is so, so good. He's so good. God, he's so got good. the old school, like, tux. He's got the gloves. Yeah. I want to welcome our two victors. And I personally want to congratulate them on the announcement of their engagement. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, that's not what they wanted. 
or not what the president wanted. Anyway. Oh, so, shit. She's not who they think she is. She just wants to save her own skin. It's as simple as that. She's become a beacon of hope for the rebellion, and she has to be eliminated. I agree she should die, but in the right way. Moves and counter moves. That's all we got to look at. We need to show that she's one of us. Shut down the black markets, take away what little they have, then double the amount of floggings and executions. Put them on TV. So fear. More fear. It won't work. Fear does not work as long as they have hope. And Katniss Everdeen is giving them hope. She's engaged. What's the cake going to look like? Executions. Blanket coverage. Shove it in their faces. Show them that she's one of us now. <laughs> They're going to hate her so much. They might just kill her for you. Brilliant. What? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, this is, no, see, no, no, here. no. When did you... Well, you can't be doing that in front of all oh, these God. people. Yeah, you gotta, like, chill a well, little. Well, she did the under the arms, like, little hug. It's nothing, really. <laughs> You're gonna be far away from here by tonight. You mean your fiancé? It's no threat to have you killed. You said oh. yourself that we could do it the morning of the reaping. Do you love me? Kaylee, you know how I feel about you. She'd be recognized. Yeah, but you have to, he, she didn't even say it. He needs to hear it. She'd be recognized everywhere she went. She oh. could go nowhere. What's happening? I should have just eaten berries and ran it and died like I was supposed to. You haven't heard people get this. You've given them an opportunity. He's already oh. talking to minds. People want to fight. They will kill us. People are looking at you, Kat. I don't want anyone looking to me. Wow, just imagine the weight put on her yeah. shoulders. I totally forced to become a, a symbol and a leader. Oh, they're bringing in the heavy troops. Yeah. I'm staying here. Commander Threat. What? Guess you're not in charge anymore. What is this? Oh, they're shutting down the black markets. Yeah, the where black she markets. Sells for yeah. squirrels and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah. And everything else. This reminds me a little bit of Equilibrium when they're, oh, yeah, they're yeah, grabbing yeah. all the stuff. Oh, that's not going to go well for him. In the square. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Publicly whipping him. Oh. oh. It's okay. He's going. Move. I mean, Katniss is a big deal, though. Yeah. I mean. Go ahead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of my way. Commander, you're new here. You recognize her, Katniss Everdeen? She interfered with a peacekeeper. I never said she was smart. You sure Snow wants three dead victors here? Because that's what we're looking at. It's bad enough that you marked up her face on the eve of the big wedding. Oh, oh. He realizes he's screwed now. Yeah, he's, he's in deep now. I don't care who she is. Clear the square! <laughs> Woody's like, I'm right here. Yeah. Anyone out after dark will be shot on sight! Let's go. Get him here. Really? Easy. Oh. oh. Wonder if she's got Damn. some of that uh, healing salve left. Oh. What is that that's hurting him? He needs more flank. That's not good. Oh, right in the back. Younger sister is strong. Yep. She's really growing up. Hey, Catnap. I'm going to stay right here. Cause all kinds of trouble. Yeah, that would cause a lot of trouble, actually. Oh, they got bandages all wanna, over his yeah, back. Yeah, so I can look after him for a while. Get him more snow. You know, I guess I I thought Katniss would be, like, completely untouchable from, yeah. you know, the guards and everybody else. How can we live like this? How can anybody live like this? Since the last games... Something's different. What can you see? Hope. Before any of the excitement happened, if you cannot contain Katniss Everdeen, then I will have to terminate her. I understand that. Her entire species has to be eliminated. Her species, sir. We are the victors. They all pose a threat. They all think they're invincible. There's a way we can still win. <sighs> it's what we game makers like to call a wrinkle. Oh my God, he's 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 good. He was such a talented actor, wasn't he? Was. he? Yeah. God, 
He was so good. This is the 75th year of the Hunger Games. Every 25 years, there would be a quarter quell. We celebrate the third quarter quell. The male and female tribute are to be reaped from the existing pool of victors. Oh, they're taking all the winners. I knew that was coming. Yep, you knew eventually. knew that was coming. There she is. I'm here to drink. Hey, there you go. Finally, something I can help you yeah. with. <laughs> so are they going to allow the victors to volunteer? 45 minutes ago, begging to save your life, and you only just now show up. Live a hundred lifetimes and never deserve that boy. Nobody decent ever wins the game. Nobody ever wins the games. No. Wow, what a strong point. Yep. Nobody wins. There's no winners in something like that. Yep. Wow. You can help him in the arena like you did for me. Peter lives, not me. Okay. I just want to know where they're going to go to. You know, where do they think it's safe? Yeah, I don't. I guess I don't understand enough of the, the world that they're in. We don't know if, and Andrew, you brought this up yeah. earlier. We don't know if this is one country and there's an outside world. Yeah, we don't know if country, this is the world. Continent, yeah. You know, uh, do the districts represent continents or countries? We We don't know. The female tribute from District 12, Cadmus Everdeen. The male tribute from District 12, Hamish Abernathy. Oh, oh, Jesus, it's Hamish. Cadmus Everdeen and Peter Malak. Oh, no. No, no. What are they going to... Oh, no. What are they going to... Peacekeeper's going to go after everybody? Oh, shit. Well, now they're... It's on now. Oh, no. Oh. I get to say goodbye. Kenneth! Kenneth! Goodbye! I hate that guy because he's such a good bad guy in so many movies. He is. Yeah, what do the peacekeepers do when everybody's showing their sign of solidarity? Mm -hmm. Well, they, they didn't do anything there. I'm going to get you two boys something gold. Show them we are a team. And I can't just thank you. <laughs> She's kind of trying, but come on. She yeah. seems like she's getting a little bit more conflicted. Yeah. Right? Like in the first one, she was like all about everything. Oh, about the the she seems, she's like, she's having some conflict. You two are the outsiders. I want you guys to forget everything you think you know about the game. You're dealing with all experienced killers. All right. That means you're going to have to have some allies. You're not the problem. No. You're starting at a disadvantage. Most of these people have been friends for years. That just puts us higher on their kill list. You go it alone, their first move is going to be to hunt you down. Goodness, come on. What's going on with the person in back there with all the stuff in their face? I, I don't know. Tape? Cashmere and Gloss, brother and sister. It's Jack Reacher. Yeah, she has to say it. It's Reacher. <laughs> I know him as Aquaman on back Smallville. Back-to-back games? Oh. And the other half of the career pack? Brutus and Inabaria. Wires and Beatty. Not fighters, but hey, Jeffrey Wright. Hey. Weird. Real tech savvy. The Morphlings. Masters Jesus. of Camouflage. Finnick O'Dare, right? Yes. He won his games at 14. Youngest ever. Wow. Mags. She volunteered for Annie. Mags was his mentor and basically oh. raised him. If he's oh. trying to protect her in any way, it exposes him. A guy like that has to know she's not going to make it. Comes down to it, he won't protect her. He's actually a wonderful lady. So would the winners from previous games have kept up on their skills, though, yeah, if they probably. didn't need to win the games? Like, let's say you won the 65th games 10 years yeah, prior. you're thinking you're good, you know? What did you do with all your wealth, anyway? I haven't dealt in anything as common as money in years. Well, then how do people yeah. pay for the pleasure of your company? The secrets. Katniss, now's your chance to hook this guy in, get him on your team. Everybody always seems to know my secrets before I know them myself. I think that's true. I'm sorry you had to cancel your wedding. Have a good day. What do you want? To know all my secrets. I have to get in line. Oh. <laughs> Press this when you're ready. Good luck. Oh, is the flaming suit again? Oh, let's no, see what that's I'm new. betting is something a little bit Yeah, better. it's going to be bigger, I bet. Our favorites. Well, <laughs> or my favorites. It's always back. <laughs> A.K.A. Dabby. Yeah. Oh, I got oh, full flaming oh, suits. Full flames, not That's just the back. called catching fire, guys. Yeah. Nice. Way to make friends out there, you two. I want to introduce you to some special friends of mine. This is Cedar and Chaff from District 11. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
These tributes are crazy. You guys look amazing. District 7, Lumber. I'd love to put my axe on her face. <laughs> See the look she was giving Woody? Yeah. He's like cracking up back there. You want to Look at Jennifer Lawrence's face. <laughs> we'll call her Katniss. Oh, sorry, Katniss. <laughs> yeah, Jack Reacher is going to be a problem. Ooh, got them both. Oi, you know the bald guy is always going to be a badass. <laughs> Anybody else feeling like PETA's way outmatched here? And Katniss. They're both in trouble. You should move your hands downward. Oh, wow. They have her in this movie, too? I didn't recognize her from the original announcements. Isn't she from... Um, uh, is it uh, uh, Natural Born Killers, I think? No, yeah. pulp, fi pulp fiction. Pulp fiction. She's in. Pulp yeah, fiction. yeah. She's the girl who like holds up the uh, holds he, up the he, restaurant. Yeah, with Tim Roth. Yeah, that's Honey Bunny. Yes, that's Honey <laughs> Bunny. Look at you guys. <laughs> sure, we probably missed something important there. His <laughs> top left side eye. That's like glass. Oh, oh yeah, they don't oh, want man. an arrow flying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the holograms, the lights, every now and then they flicker. Why? Because the force field is taking up too much energy. It's always a flaw in the system. So this is this one so far right now is it's more beautiful. about. Is she making fishing lures? Yeah, fishing flies. If you teach me how to make a fish hook like that, I could teach you how to hunt. Okay, <laughs> I'll go first. Oh, she's got a different choices of bows this yeah. time around. Uh, somebody's been watching Legolas. Very interesting, um, the way they set up the training course with the lasers and the blocks yeah. and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Well, sweetheart, you got your pick of the litter. I want Wyrus and Beatty. Well, okay, good. <laughs> now, who, who else? Mags. <laughs> All right, fine, then no one. I'll tell them you're still making up your mind. What, now they have to pick allies? Well, they all want her as an ally. Yeah. Evans Everdeen, report for individual assessment. On here. Oh, this is where she shot the arrow through the apple last time. Oh, no. uh, that's oh, uncalled that was, for. You think that was Mags do, that did that? You know what? That's uh, you know th they didn't need to do that, even in a movie. You have ten minutes to present your chosen skill. What is she doing? Did she write something on it? Seneca Crane. What is Seneca? What is Seneca? That's the last game master. See the beard? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have never seen anything like this. Because tonight, 24 of Pan Am's brightest stars will buy for the ultimate crown. Our final opportunity to express our love, to say goodbye to all but one. <laughs> he just keeps going. God, he's so good. We're not going by choice. God, does anybody actually believe this? She is very good. <laughs> I don't know who we will miss more, you or your brain. The quarter crow were written into law by men. Certainly it can be unwritten. My love, you have my heart. If I die in that arena, my last thought will be of your lips. You know, I'm getting totally screwed over here. But now you want to kill me again. <laughs> <laughs> will I be twirling tonight? Save it for the end. Oh, goodness. You would have been the most beautiful bride. What have? <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Really? <laughs> A wedding dress? Snow made me wear it. No, make him pay for it. <gasps> oh, make him pay for it. What's she gonna be up to here? 
I think we're all here a little disappointed that a certain wedding did not take place. This is the gown that you would have worn on that day, yes or no? Yes, President Snow thought everyone would want to see it. Well, President Snow, as usual, was right. <laughs> was he not, folks? I love it! I love it! <laughs> oh, I bet there's something oh, written on the back of it. I oh, No, there wasn't. We saw that, didn't we? Remember to keep twirling. It's gonna, the whole oh. dress is going to burn oh, yeah. up and she's going to be wearing something else. Something else, yeah. Whoa. Oh, the Mockingjay. Yeah. yeah. Like the Mockingjay. So the uh, stylist, Lenny Kravitz, just defied the president. Yes, he did. That's my guy. He knows. He's done. Yeah. That's it for Lenny Kravitz, man. He just sacrificed himself. Yep, because the Mockingjay was the symbol. Holy shit. Wow. A secret wedding? All right, do tell. We want our love to be eternal. I wouldn't have any regrets at all if it, if it weren't if it weren't for the baby. Oh, that's the bomb you drop. Holy cow. This what is news brilliant. to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Stop the games. You think that's Katniss's way out, maybe? Both their ways out? See, look at the audience. Yeah, they don't, need, they don't want it. Yeah. yeah. PETA saved the day. Stop the games. Oh. The people in the Capitol don't even are want yelling, that. stop the games. What? <laughs> Baby bomb was a stroke of genius. Games are still on. This is goodbye for now. Presents for the boys. Your token, remember? Hair for me, pin for Katniss. Gold bangle for you, and for Pita. The medallion that we talked about. She's starting to talk like a normal person. She's yeah. not in her like. And I'm so proud of my victors. I Sorry. She can't keep it up anymore. The the whole like capital front that she's been putting on, she can't do it. Wow, what a twist yeah. with her. It's like a lot of people are starting to crack. Stay alive. Hey Mitch, wait. Remember our deal. Do whatever it takes to keep alive. Katniss, when you're in the arena, remember who the real enemy is. I don't want to be with anyone else in there. Just you. I'll see you soon. We expecting company? Yeah, I was gonna say who's no, knocking I'm... on the door. Thinking, uh, maybe they gotta separate them. It's time to go. Look at the sun is rising. Oh, yep. Oh. Lenny Kravitz is like one of the 17 coolest people in the history of planet Earth, isn't he? <laughs> 17? I would say higher. Eight. <laughs> Ooh, there's that ah, big ass needle true. again. Did they just have the one from the last time? <laughs> and he yeah, I was gonna one. say, what did they take the old ones out or what? That seems like it'd be worse than getting it put in. Look at this. They're holding hands. I want them dead. They're holding hands now, but the minute the gun goes off, it'll be a bloodbath. The idea of the mocking Jay. The more allies she betrays, the more friends she kills, the more she reveals her true self. As long as it ends with her picture in the sky and the sound of cannon. And it shall. It better. What if they all just didn't fight? I was just gonna say that. I was like, I'll just start a campfire with each other. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, hey, everyone, back to back. We <laughs> see anything come towards us, we take it out. Yeah. Well, I suppose because they put in like mm -hmm. weird, yeah, well, yeah, like cat, fire the cat dog things. warthogs. Yeah. So I guess tropics or desert. That dress was beautiful. I thought you'd like it. I just wanted to tell you because I don't. Know. Stop. Remember, I'm still betting on you, girl on fire. Yeah, cover that up. Man, how is this gonna play out? God, he's so fucking cool. Yeah, you just, you just. <laughs> God, jeez. Yep. Yeah, that's I knew that. just like we called it. Yeah. Oh gosh, they gonna do it right here? Right in front of her. Make her watch. Knew that was coming. Yep. He knew that was coming, too. He did, yeah. yeah. They have to swim right off the bat to the cornucopia. Let the 75th Hunger Games begin. Two, oh, she one. sees that ball. Yeah, she's mad that. now. Oh, the strategy from the previous one. She's abandoning. She yeah. wants that bow. She's pissed. You know what? They knew they were going to do that to her. 
get her angry. Change her strategy. Get her angry. Get her reckless. Oh! Right Right in the knee! Duck. Oh! Wow! Oh, they are allies. Gotta say, I'm kind of surprised to see him on the team. Oh, dude's swimming out to help him. Nobody else has any sort of projectile weapons. Fires. Well, remember, one person is gone already. Yeah. Because uh, who he speared right over the beginning. Katniss, Katniss, go, 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 go. Where's our, uh, where's Jeffrey Wright and Honey Bunny? I think that's who got. Speaking no, they time. would have gone. They would have gone the other way yeah, right away. They went to yeah. gone for the weapons. And then the other two who hit out when they both won would have gone right away. Yeah, they know they weren't physically. Well, they okay, weren't able well, to right run. Right now, we have only heard two. Whoa. Oh, who is that? Well, I guess they're not holding hands anymore. Three. <laughs> you think that's funny? Every time that cannon goes off, it's music to my ears. I want to face the career back alone. What would Hamish say? Hamish isn't here. Let's keep moving. Yeah, it's gonna be the back and forth for them. Yeah. Nina, no! Oh, trap! He's up breathing. He's up breathing. He's up breathing. Nina, please wake up. Get him ready. Come on, Peter. Please, Peter. Peter. You think? You think uh, he's the hired gun for, like, Woody said, don't worry, I have someone to help you out? Oh, maybe. I don't know how that works, though, with hired guns when only one person gets to live, you know? That's Dude. true. It's okay. It's working now. Oh, he's gonna be Someday hitting I want that. to love someone that much. Oh! oh my darling. This is interesting, the relationship between them and her, because they show what you're assuming is a granddaughter, but we haven't seen any... No, she did say grandpa to him. Right, but where's the daughter? Yeah. Oh. Get up there? That'd be a hell of a (laughs) head. Or wouldn't be wasting arrows like that. Force field. It's a dome. We're at the edge of the arena. We'll be safe with our backs protected. We should set up camp. I can take first watch. Not a chance. That thing I did back there for Peter, I was called saving his life. If I wanted to kill either of you, I would have done it by now. Yeah, how would you even sleep? Ugh. I mean, it's something like this. It's like at any moment, they could be right on you. I mean, in the first one, she slipped up in the tree. Mm-hmm. But she was also by herself. So there's some sense of security. Oh, yeah, we're okay. So we're... That was one of the guys that self-medicated, right? I don't even remember seeing that guy or her. Wow, eight of them down already. Third of the people gone on the first night. Oh, it's Gatorade. <laughs> it's Gatorade. <laughs> Just one. What is it? It's from Haymitch. Oh, it goes in the trees. You tap a tree. Uh-huh. <gasps> <laughs> Why is there an alarm sounding? I'm thinking... They want to do anything and everything, then not let them get any rest or anything. Yeah, anything. really throw them off. Because, like, they, they play the in memoriam when they're all trying to, like, sleep. Midnight. In a number of districts. Just the physical exhaustion from not getting a decent night's sleep when you have to do something so physically demanding. Oh, yep. no, 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 no. And being dehydrated. Oh, they stopped. Everything got quiet. Oh, are they going to make it cold now on them? Or steam, make it really hot. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh, poison it's like, gas. Oh, the fog is poison! Wow. Well, I mean, that's a threat. <laughs> oh, God, get out of there, man. <laughs> Y'all gotta keep going. Yeah. Next. Finnick, we have to go. Wow. Oh, it's stopping. Okay. Oh. Baboons. <laughs> Why not? Oh, no. I hear they're very friendly. 
Oh, I washed it off, it looked like. The water helps. I won't get too comfortable in there, though. You, yeah, I mean, you just never know. Oh, he must have got it. Yeah, he got it real bad. She was never going to make it. What? Oh, boy. That's a lot of them. Okay, it's not just one or two. Oh, Jesus. Oh, good, luck, good luck walking slowly. <laughs> God, it was right there. Come on. Oh, the old jump scare. Oh. Man, what does he even have? Oh. Peta's just got like a sword. He's got a big old trident like halibur or spear. Look at those Jesus. teeth. You gotta get to the beach. Jeez. Oh, is that the uh, the woman th uh, from the tree district? Yeah, District Seven. Uh, no, no, these the the people that just hung out and like morphed. Wait, help me get her. Why would they stop? The monkeys stop there. Yeah. It's okay. Shh, 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 shh. Look up. Look. Don't worry about anything else. Why she didn't have to do anything either. No. What, do they come in and get the bodies, or what? Yeah, we've never seen that before, have we? No. She sacrificed herself for me, and I don't even know her name. You think she sacrificed herself? Look like it. You know, maybe they, they're they sick of it. They're sick of yeah, living the way they, they have. Maybe view them all as the hope. Maybe. They, That's some they, oh, they want they're them to, the, to end it. They want Peta oh, and yeah, Katniss yeah. to win. Yep. Hey, found a... A black is that a black pearl? Uh, for you. Thank you. That's new. Well, they're not the only ones apparently that are getting messed over by the. Uh... Oh, now we got flood. A flood. Someone's here. Oh, those two. What has he got? I guess we have more allies. Until you don't. Yeah. Until they change the rules on you. I thought it was water. It turned out to be blood. That's when Blight hit the force field. He wasn't much, but he was from home. Oh, her partner, oh. her from the same district, died from the force field. Yep. Stop it! Hey, get off her! Get down! Hey, hey, hey. I got them out for you! Okay. Okay. What does that mean? Let me go. What if all the other districts are purposely trying to get her to TikTok. win? Yeah. TikTok. Certainly seems that way. I think what she's saying with TikTok is that it, something else is about to yeah, happen we again. Gotta, we got to get moving. She maybe. she knows certain times. Or she figured it out. TikTok. Have fun with nuts. TikTok. It's clock. <gasps> You're a genius. That's a clock. It looks like a clock. With a new threat every hour, but they stay only within their wedge. Fog, monkeys, that's the first four hours. At 10, that big wave hits from over there. With the tail points at 12. That's where the lightning strikes at noon and midnight. It doesn't matter. As long as you steer clear, whichever sect is active, we'll be safe. Oh, see you later, Reacher. Change it up. Spin it. Jesus. Okay, that's enough. Let's see how they tell Tom now. Oh, he's pissed off that they figured, they figured it out. out. Yeah. Let's just get what we need and get off the bloody island. <laughs> so besides Brutus and Anabaria, who's left? Maybe Jeff? <laughs> no. What? Jeff is weak! It's just a Jabberjay, it's not her. How did they got that sound? Jabberjay's copy. What in the world? We got birds that can talk? Oh, this is the next attack. Yeah. Oh, crazy birds. It's okay, they're just mutts. It's not real. Yeah, 
hours on. The hours on. It's all right. No, 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 okay. It's okay. Are you okay? An hour they had to deal with that. What if we? What if we set your backyard on fire? You know you can't put everybody in here. You can't hurt me. It's not a life that I love. Oh, that's a hell of a point. Somebody who's got nothing left to lose is pretty heckin' dangerous. Very dangerous. There's nobody more dangerous than somebody who's got nothing left to lose. Hmm? Here's what I propose. We leave the beach at dusk. We head to the lightning tree. That should draw them back to the beach. Right at midnight, we then run this wire from the tree to the water. Anyone in the water or in the damp sand will be electrocuted. Oh, they electrocuted six people at once. That's when they right. Won. Yeah. So what can we do to help keep me alive for the next six hours? Oh, you can't win. They're, 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 they control the game. You can't win. I don't know what kind of deals you made with Hamish, but he made me promises too. If you die and I live, I'd have nothing. Nobody else that I care about. Your family needs you. You have to live. What about you? Nobody needs me. Oof, that hurts. I do. There you go. Ah, uh, young love. We'll toast when it's done. In the meantime, make yourself comfortable. He, I think he's, I get a real, he's up to something. Yep. You don't, uh, you don't get an actor like Philip Seymour Hoffman to be a one dimensional villain. Yeah. There are two careers out there. I need two guards. Yeah. Why can't Finnick and Joanna stay with you and Peter and I will take the coil. It's his plan. We all agreed to it. Something's going on with the plan. Because, yeah, well, they're afraid that they're going to turn on them after they after they take out the two careers that's what no i think what they think though too is we have to keep them together they won't you know ah, yeah. just... oh she double crossed oh stay down oh she's trying to make it look like she took her out yeah, she ain't gonna be moving too good after that. <gasps> what was he trying to do? He was trying to. Peter! Oh, they put a border right around that tree. Is that what's going on? Well, I don't know. He had that wire wrapped around that spear. I'm almost thinking he was trying to trying to f use the energy from the force shield, maybe. Candace, where are you? Let it. Fly. Candace. Better yeah, you guys get away better from that tree. Yeah, yeah, all that wire is still on there. Candace, get away from that tree! Whoa! Oh, it worked! What? Hey, you didn't plan on that, did you? Suck it. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit has just been revoked. The whole thing? <laughs> the whole thing just lost power. It's done uh, everything. So now we get to see where they really are. Oh, holy <laughs> shit. And it's day outside. Oh, this whole thing's going to start falling apart. Oh, they're going to pick her up, but she's not. Yeah, no, no. They, they know she's the troublemaker. I mean, I can't imagine. Dennis, you got some splain. Okay, to do. so he's he made it. Finds out about the boy. She's still cooperating. Oh no! Stop, no guarantee. Just tell her when. I knew he was in on it. Good morning, sweetheart. <laughs> Listen, we couldn't tell you with Snow watching. It was too risky. You have been our mission from the beginning. The plan was always to get you out. Yep. This is the revolution. I knew and it. You're the mocking jay. I knew it. And we're on our way to District 13 right now. 13? 13, yes. He still has his tracker in his arm. Joanna cut yours out. Oh, and she knocked him. Oh. Yeah, that's what him. she did. Yeah, when she told him to stay down. <laughs> Son of a you promised me that you would be your own Half the tributes were in on it. Yeah. That's why they needed them split apart so she could knock it out, take the tracker yep. out. Hey, Ken, I've just been asleep for a few days. Where's Pen? She's alive. So's your mother. I got him out in time. I sent in hovercrafts. 
And they started dropping firebombs. They're not in 12? There is no District 12. Come on! What? Come on! Are you kidding oh. me? What? So many questions. Okay. Oh, we got a new symbol. Just like Katniss was with the, uh, she got out of the wedding dress. All right, let's All get right. to it. <laughs> that Shoot. was wow. Hunger Games catching fire. I wow. love the I love the little graphic there, but then just broke into like just nonchalant normal like credits there. Yeah, wow. that was crazy. So, man, I was wondering like what was going on because I was kind of like, how long are they just going to be, you know, fighting on mm -hmm. the beach and trying to survive in this games? There's got to be something more to it, and. I think they kind of dropped little hints that maybe some of the other uh, contestants were in on it to help Katniss. Cause I, I thought one of us said from the start, like she's kind of the symbol. She's kind of the hope. Maybe they're all trying to save her. And uh, it kind of felt that way for a little bit, but then we kind of seemed like we got away from it and then boom, they just threw it right back <laughs> in our face at the end that our boy, Philip Seymour Hoffman was in on it. Woody Harrelson was in on it. You know, they, they were all planning. It was always about Katniss from the start. It you know, was always about her because they wow. knew, they knew from the end of the first movie, if not sooner, that she was the symbol for the revolution. Man, what a mind trip this one was. Um, I, well, what do you got for a score? Oh, uh, a score? <laughs> Jeez, I <really? laughs> almost <laughs> forgot. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say this one was uh, another uh, four and a half, uh, I think four and a half out of five. This was a step wow, up. It jumped up that it high. Stepped up a, a half a point from the last one for sure. And uh, I really dug the twist at the end there and, and how they, how, how Snow was in control of everything, or at least he thought he was. But when they showed that symbol in the tunnel, you know, when they were on the train, we, I mean, right we knew that we knew that the, there was good, there was a revolution, and there always is, isn't there? You know, there's always somebody fighting back. So yeah, absolutely. Well, first I think Oak's gonna have to fight back the tears for Lenny. I'm sure he's okay. I hope he's okay. We don't know yet. We, we don't know. know. We don't so, know. We got a couple more movies to go. I <laughs> I really was really entertained with this. Really good story driven. Really great twist at the end. I loved how the games this time were entirely different. They were solely yeah. like team based. Then each hour there was something that changed, like from the baboons to the the poisonous fog that mm -hmm. magically water just washes right off, I guess. And just that was just an amazing like idea to do it. And then even when they thought they could tell time, you know, to try and hide it, you know, they spun yeah. it around and. It sucked that uh, Reacher had to go right away. Yeah, that was kind of a bummer. I thought we'd see more of him. No, I mean, he got it, got it to the calf right away and then, yeah. you know, put it out of the misery at the end. But I really liked that. I really liked the story. I really like, as much as I hate it, I like the ending where they do that sometimes. It's yeah. really nice. So uh, I get the last one, I believe, a four. No, what, what, well, something like that. Well, I'll go four. Four two five. Yeah. I think it's it's still climbing up yet, and I think it, yeah. it, there's still room to grow, and the story more to be told, which is going to be great. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, and just real quick, I just want to throw in because uh, I just thought of it as you were saying it. It seems like you know the main story is Katniss and the revolution, and that the whole gamesmanship and all that's just almost a distraction. The way that the people are being distracted in the in the movie. Uh, it's kind of like, man, I just want them to to get to the point with Katniss and yeah, have you know yeah. get the revolution going, which I'm sure is what happens in the next two. Well, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. What a, I mean, what a, what a twist. You know, what a twist. After the first one, I just, it just felt kind of gross, and I just didn't like the the premise of it all. And I re and I really think maybe the the plot and everything that was going on in the first one was a little bit lost on me, just mm -hmm. because of how like disgust that i was with the idea of like making these kids go out and hunt each other for for people's entertainment yeah um you know and, and they dropped a little bit at the end about you know giving people hope and, and there being an uprising so we, we knew more was coming but this film and i know it's just a continuation of the story but for me this was just light years ahead of the original one so many more pieces of the puzzle yeah. got put together right in front of us i mean just the, the uh, of course we already had woody harrelson and donald sutherland lenny kravitz jennifer lawrence 
Um, but the the addition of Philip Seymour Hoffman, mm. I think, was really phenomenal. And s- such a talented, diverse actor. Yeah. And you kind of got that vibe from the beginning, like something was <laughs> something was off. Yeah. Um, I loved how strong um, uh, Jennifer Lawrence's younger sister. I'm, 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 I'm so like uh, Prin. sucked yeah. in Prin. Prin. Yeah. I love how strong Prin's character became. I yeah, mean, what a cool. difference from the first movie. Um, but yeah, the plot she twists was. here were phenomenal. You had half the tributes that were in. They wanted to be part of the revolution. They knew that Katniss and Peta had to survive. Yep. They had to make it, especially Katniss, in order for this to work. I, I feel like this is one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like I'm gonna go home and rewatch this tomorrow. Yeah, uh, this because I need. There's to. so much that I miss. Like I'm wondering now what B- Beetle or Beater. Beater. Yeah. Um. Be- 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 you yeah. know the plan was to have essentially the same thing happen, right? Like yeah. he wanted to shut it down. So I'm wondering if running the wire to the tree, like they couldn't have known she was going to shoot the arrow, and that those guys were going to show up and stop right. her. So from she couldn't have known that. And I'm wondering if just. Um, running the wire from the tree to the water, if there would have been some sort of short is what he was yeah, maybe, what he yeah, was looking to have happen. Like maybe that. And if Philip Seymour Hoffman was in on it, he would have known where to run the wires from where to where. They were just going to run it into the water. Well, if there was water and, you know, there's, there's, there's moisture running all throughout the course of the island, that could have potentially shorted out the whole system. Yeah. So I really want to go back and see all the things I missed. I on, I swear I'm not going to watch ahead, but now I, I, I really want to. And of course, our timeline is the promise. same timeline yeah. as you know the movies were coming out. But um, what a, what an incredible twist! I love how they showed. Um, I, I love how they showed how much turmoil there was in the districts. I also show, loved how they showed that people were starting to um, fight back. The older gentleman from District 11. Um, with yeah, his with the first with, one, yeah. with the hand up he was the first one and um and just a really cool twist I, I want you guys if you if drop a comment below when they first went to where you know the victors wherever where they were living you had the gates and you had the arched metal sign um it said like victor alley or victor's or whatever victor hall, or, victor something, hall yeah. or something like that and uh, my grandfather and my great uncle were in World War II. My father was a history teacher. I'm like obsessed with World War II history. And it very much reminded me of the arches at um, Auschwitz. Yep. And uh, you get a lot of um, a lot of like Nazi Germany vibes with yeah. with the propaganda and, you know, and, and wanting to keep people in power and to keep people down and things like that. And I, that's, it clicked. And look, I'm sure there's a lot of metal archways, but that's what I thought. Yeah. And, I, and I felt like it was the symbolism yeah. of like that victor's role was a, was a prison yeah. for them because they only got there because they were a part of, you know, such a brutal thing. I loved like yeah, I mean, one of my favorite parts is when uh, Hamick um, had said, there are no winners here. Yeah, no, yeah. there's only survivors, and and they look because the people in the capital. Oh, here's the winner. They're gonna go on a victory tour. It's yeah, like they're, they're miserable. It's like you're yeah. you're, you're not the winner. Um, I mean, yeah, just yeah. look at how how he was portrayed the whole I, time. Uh, just, yeah. You know, a booze hound, just like yeah. trying to and probably. It's, yeah. it's it it hits a little bit harder for home for me. I was at the airport in Detroit, um, I believe a year and a half ago, and uh, I met a gentleman who was uh, had received the Congressional Medal of Honor. Um, which is, you know, is the highest military honor. Y- yeah. And I had I had just posted a little story about how we had met my interactions with him in the airport and, and I I mistakenly used the term winner. Um I said he was the winner of the Congressional Medal of Honor. And uh a, a good friend of mine who was a, a career <clears throat> um service airman in the Air Force had commented um, or actually sent me a private message and very politely said, hey, just, I just want to give you a heads up. We, we don't call it the winner of the Congressional Medal of Honor. You're the recipient. Um, nobody who gets that award won, won anything. Yeah. It's a recipient. And so it hit, it hit home really hard. Of course, I felt like he's I, I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe I said that. He's like, no, it's not like nobody's going to think you know yeah. about it like that. 
but like having that experience happen to me and in, in, in my interaction with this gentleman at the airport was a it was an emotional experience for me and it's a, it's a story for another time but just just that's when he said that like to me that struck suck such a hard chord because like i've yeah. you know uh, i don't want to say i experienced you know obviously what he went through but it's something that i can relate yeah, you to. know so, somebody personally so when he said that, that it was like holy holy shit i have wow i mean for me this was a phenomenal movie. I, I don't know if I gave a three five or a three seven five. I, I think you were like right around four, the same as me. No, no, I think I was three. like three, I think oh, I was yeah? three five okay. for the first one. I'm going up a full point to a four five for this one. I thought this was a phenomenal movie, a really strong continuation of the story. And now I'm like, and, and there's some people up here are going to give me some trouble because of the way I started with Harry Potter, but. Um, it started off as like we have to lay the groundwork right like here's the games and here's what they represent and I, and, I, and again looking back on it i think more my distaste for the first movie was one there were some 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 holes in the story that you know me being as inquisitive as i am i like oh i need to know about this yeah. i need to know but I, I was really just off put um by how disturbing the the concept of the games is and just the districts and the capital and it's 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 really messed up and it's like when you peel the layers back it's it's, it's yeah it's pretty disturbing but wow phenomenal movie i absolutely cannot wait now we got two more yeah correct oh. part one and part so two. so the hard part is now here's the tough part <laughs> going into the next movie we know that it's still not the complete it's not over now. yeah like no. right now like, i gotta know how it ends but i have to go through another movie and then another one and then there's a There's new one coming, coming out, out in yeah. 2020. And so at this yeah. point right now, after two, I don't know if the end of the last one is like a continuation and this is some sort of prequel or add on yeah. or whatever. But we've had the luxury of going through <laughs> and watching <laughs> Lord of the Rings, <laughs> Bing, 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 <laughs> Hobbit, Bing, 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 all eight Harry Potter, Bing, 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 Bing. And Bing, now Bing. I'm getting sucked into this Hunger Games story. Yep. Am I gonna have to? Am I gonna have to wait? <laughs> we have to wait you're for gonna, the the last one to go see it in the theater, or we wait? Do it yeah. here. Oh my god! Oh, I, oh, I think this guys, is one that we might have to wait and do that one here. I, I think. don't know. Uh, I'm really sucked into these. So if there's yeah. one that comes out in the theaters, we need we we're we're working on a way for like major releases. How we can do yeah. Yeah. you know like a hybrid like review reaction with the theaters. It's something yeah. that um, as our channel grows. We're still working on for some some of the bigger movies. Um, I think we would have liked to have done that a little Top bit different Gun. for Top Gun. <laughs> oh but we God. we had to see Top Gun in the theater, Dave. Um, but we are working. Um, we've kind of put our brains together. Obviously, we're we're open to suggestions mm -hmm. about how we can you know bring the excitement of the reactions. But look, we're still movie guys, and there's yeah. some that we have to <laughs> see in the, yeah. in the theaters. Yeah. But um, but anyhow, um, I'll I'll leave it at that. Just a huge 180 for me mm -hmm. from. The One first to movie to the second movie. Now I'm invested. Now yeah. I'm sucked in. I'm gonna go back, and I don't. I don't know that I need to rewatch the first one so much. I, I might as well. But uh, this might one, be some I, hints this one, I am know. definitely rewatching this. Yeah. Five hours of cardio on the treadmill. You yeah. got it. Yeah. Yeah. You got That's it. Right. Well, you know, and I was gonna uh, jump in when you were talking about it, but you know, the symbolism of of the arches and what you saw. Like, look in movies. Nothing is done by accident. Everything is done for a reason. Everything you see, every set, every scene, every bit of clothing that our characters wear, it, it's all done for a reason and a purpose. So if you had that feeling, it was done for a purpose. It's, and you were supposed to get It felt like that. the arches yeah, at, I mean, uh, at Auschwitz. Yeah, I mean, to me, when they showed the, uh, the buildings, it very much reminded me of uh, some of the far parts of, of Russia where they, you know, built some of the roads out there towards like Siberia and whatnot, where they just had these huge apartment complexes that housed workers. It was, you know, very, very, a lot of stonework, very cold and very rigid. Um, that's kind of what it reminded me of. So I think when they do these movies, they, they, they get those shots to make us have those feelings and kind of remember that. So that way you can, not relate, relate, but like you, See where yeah, it's something you've maybe the, seen in real life. You know, yeah, it's helping you uh, the, recognize yeah. and cope with it. Yeah, visually, um, and, and of course, huge credit to the author of the books because I don't want to just give credit to the yeah. director. Oh well, yeah, yeah, but yeah, visually, yeah. with these movies, especially with this film, 
the the imagery and the symbolism that they used to like strike a chord with the viewers was very strong and incredibly well done. Yeah, it was. And again, huge shout out to all the actors. Jennifer Lawrence has been incredible in this. Uh, the way she's able to convey her emotions from, you know, sadness and, and, and doubt and, and regrets and, and turning that to uh, to anger and, uh, and determination has been really good. I mean, she's able to say a lot without saying anything. Yeah, yeah she's, so, she's pretty incredible yeah, so far. The yeah. reason why she's one of the top actresses, you know, in the game right now. Yeah. So, so we loved it. Thank you again, Patreons, for bringing this to us. God, we missed out early, but like we said, we get to watch it right, real quick, back to back to back, yep. and really watch it and really take it in. So for Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn, I'm of course the answer. Lenny, come back <laughs> and good night, pal. He might be back. <laughs>